Uh, yeah, I grew up in a college town. Uh, the um, uh, it's a specifically a college that's all about science and engineering. Um, it's um, like it was a Manhattan Project outpost. There were you know kids in my Boy Scout troop whose dads um, had worked refining uranium for the Manhattan Project. Um, and when you're a kid, wherever you grow up, you think is normal. Maybe you've had this. <laughs> experience uh, and you don't realize how weird it was until you go other places and and meet other people so um, uh, so I had a lot of kind of a science and engineering mentality sort of baked in from the very beginning um, so um, actually I'll, I'll, so I'll, I'll tell an anecdote that sums up Ames Iowa in in my youth okay so in my Boy Scout troop uh, some of the dads came up with an idea. We did all the normal Boy Scout things like Pinewood Derby and whittling arrowheads and that kind of stuff. But they came up with this idea, which was that uh, one of these guys worked in the ag engineering department. He's the co-inventor of the cylindrical hay bale. Uh, and he took some corn seeds that were as, uh, as close to being genetically identical as he could get. They weren't cloned necessarily, but like maybe all from the same head of corn or something, ear of corn. And he carried them across the campus to the office of another dad who was one of these Manhattan Project guys. <laughs> and that dad took it down to the sub-basement of this building where the hot room was. So there's a like three foot thick wall of leaded glass with manipulator arms. Uh, and on the other side of it is incredibly radioactive stuff. So that dad took the corn seeds and put them next to really radioactive stuff for differing amounts of time and then like painted them different colors to, you know, the red ones had been really exposed to a lot of radiation and, you know, so on and so forth. And then those were handed out to us <laughs> at the next meeting of the, the Boy Scout troop. And the assignment was to plant them and cultivate these seeds and then after a month, we'd bring the plants in and there'd be a prize given out for the tallest, healthiest corn plant and another prize for the weirdest mutation. <laughs> <laughs> and this is all completely deadpan, no hoopla, no sense of how weird this was. It's like, yeah, that's one of the things you do in Boy Scouts, uh, is grow mutant plants. <laughs> um, you know, so that's kind of where I came from. Uh, and I, um, um, so I, you know, I studied uh, scientific type topics in school, but I always reserved some hope that I might be able to make a living as a writer uh, as well. And so I just didn't study it because I figured I could kind of work that out on my own. And so then after I graduated from college, I started writing books and um, after, on the third one, I got very lucky. A whole bunch of things randomly fell into place for me. And I got an agent, I got an editor. I was able to publish a book. And so, um, so that's what I ended up doing. Um, so that was kind of. So you've never had a real job? Uh, well, I've had real shitty jobs. <laughs> but like in, if you mean like a, a, a career kind of yeah. path job, I've not really had yeah. one of those. Thank you.